Today we're going to do a walkthrough on the Auto Agent app. As we open up the app, we want to allow notifications. On the startup page, we have login, create login, try emulation mode, and what is the Auto Agent? We're going to create a login. You're going to use your email and then set up a password and then confirm that password. From there, you're going to from there you're, you will be sent an email to confirm your email once that's done go back and you log in we're going to be prompted with a device location while using the app we're going to go through the privacy policy read through that accept we get a notification about the end of support for certain early Android operating systems. The main screen that we have here is our dashboard. On the upper left corner we have our menu. The upper right corner we have our quick actions. And here we have tiles. We have gauges. And we have graphs. On the tiles, one of the tiles is going to be a tutorial. We can click on that and it's a walkthrough on how to set up and use the PID screen. From here we can adjust where these tiles are located. We can adjust what PID we see. Inside the PID there's a settings we click on the settings we can adjust warning levels if techs have set up can commands we can use can commands if you're somebody who can use a can command you can use those as well we'll cover can commands more from the menu inside of the dashboard we have our gauges, we have graphs, this is just a different way to view the PID data. Up in the right hand corner next to the quick actions is what gear the vehicle we're connected to is in. We click the quick actions, this is where we can record data logs, we can manage recorded PIDs, so we can select up to 20 PIDs, we can also search for PIDs here. Going back to the menu, we have vehicle, brings up another sub-menu. Here it shows the vehicle we're connected to. We can update a custom picture for it by either taking a photo or choosing a photo. We can see what technicians we're linked with. We can see ECU profiles that would be available. We can view data logs that we've recorded. Vehicle details isn't used right now. Functions. We have vehicle functions. These are parameters that we can change or functions that we can do like a ABS reset, all-wheel drive relearn, PCM relearn, set tire size, max vehicle speed, and TCM relearn. As new functions become available through firmware updates, those will show up in this section. We also have other vehicles. So if we're connected to more than if we have connected to more than one vehicle with our auto agent, if we've connected to more than one vehicle with our auto agent app, those will show up here. There's also vehicle handover. If I sell the vehicle and I want to send any of the profiles or connection with the truck. I'm going to proceed. This is also useful if you take your vehicle into a shop and they need to have access to your vehicle profiles. So we'd put in an email here. 
The next step would be to put a message letting the recipient know. The next step, there's an optional message for the recipient. You can also put in their phone number so they can be notified by phone number. And then we would confirm that we're handing this truck over. And that's a vehicle handover. Once the vehicle's done being serviced at the shop, you can have that vehicle handed back over to you. There's no limit to how many times you can use the handover function. The next section on our menu is trouble codes. This is where we would see any trouble codes. We're gonna clear the codes. And we would read codes. Trouble codes are gone. This is where we can also chat with our technician. And then this is the section for CAN commands. CAN commands require a professional knowledge for configuration and easy link takes no responsibility for any damages or expenses so if you don't know anything about can commands don't mess with them our next section down here is settings here we can also change our profile picture we can change our user information. So put in a phone number, birthday, name. We can also reset password, delete login, and change login email from this section as well. We have customization. Customization on the dashboard. We can change the way the screen looks if we want to have it be a pink screen. Go back to dashboard and now there's a pink hue behind it. Go back to customization, we can change it back to blue or we can use a custom image. When we go into about, we have the app version. Here we can click on what's new and we can see the change logs for each of the app versions. We can see what firmware update is available. We can check for updates. You have the latest firmware. We can see the auto agent info connected through USB, our serial number, the firmware we have installed. So we can see that matches the latest firmware. Any links that we have left to be able to connect with technicians for to be able to connect with technicians for updates we have terms and conditions privacy policy and do not share or sell my personal information we go back we have support we have a tutorial here in support which again shows us how to use that we can contact EasyLink support. It's going to take us to the support center. If we scroll down, we're going to get the email and the phone number. And they're available six days a week. And there are the hours. If you are having a problem updating a profile or connecting with your auto agent and you contact EasyLink support, Sometimes they're going to want you to send internal logs. The way that you do that, you would go in, you would send internal logs. You can give a reference number. Send. Logs need to be sent while connected to the auto agent and connected to a vehicle. It doesn't matter which vehicle, if it was the vehicle you were having problems with or another vehicle, it just needs to be connected. It's gonna say up here that it's preparing and then sending those logs, we're gonna get logs were sent successfully. Okay, 
if you ever get logs sent without if you get this message we'll try to send logs without being connected to the auto agent it's going to tell us internal logs were sent without auto agent logs please try again we also have a send loop recordings. This is going to send all PID values for the past 30 minutes. To the technician that we're linked with. Go back into the vehicle. We're going to link with a technician. There are multiple ways to link with the technician. Technicians can send a link to your vehicle either by using the VIN number or the auto agent serial number, or you can manually link with the technician. We're going to accept, put in the technician email. Wants us to describe the vehicle. If it's not modified, we're simply going to put stock. Here it's going to show that this is our link technician. We can link with as many technicians as we want to. So there can be multiple techs linked up. We can go into messages and this is where we can communicate with the technician. When we're connected with the truck, go in and see what update was last installed. We can see what updates are available. To fetch a profile, we're going to click on the cloud icon. That's going to fetch the file. From there we can install the profile. If we need to refetch the profile, which will sometimes happen, we're going to remove fetched profile, not delete it, and then we're going to re-download. We're going to refetch that file from the cloud. If we were to install the profile, we would click install, proceed, it would transfer, and then it would walk us through the steps of installing that profile. We could cancel at any time. We could cancel before the profile is, starts. We can see the technician that we're linked with. That's the walkthrough on the AutoAgent app. Check back for more.